All right, this week it's back to adventure time. So this one is Candle Keep Mysteries. This one is based pretty much in and around Candle Keep. And what this one does is it actually takes you from levels one to 16. So of the adventure books that I have and I have and will be reviewing, this is the one that takes you uh, second highest level. So like the other, the other one I have, that I'll be getting to. I, there's actually like a, it's a two parter, so like the second part uh, will take you actually all the way up to level twenty. So this one, it could take you up to like level sixteen. So like uh, what it does is it gives you actually like a nice big uh, huge map of the actual candle keep and everything. So so you can know the actual like uh, so people that aren't familiar with candle keep actually know the layout and everything so i'm sure that uh, people with like uh, familiar with the the original baldur's gate game that was b uh, based uh or released back way back in 98 it started here in candle keep and everything so like i'm sure that the people like uh who remember that game can like uh, can attest to that it actually starts in candle keep and it pretty much the same setup and that they use and everything so like uh now, the, uh, this is a series of several different adventures. Candlekeep is just used as, like, the backdrop and everything. So what you do is, in a sense, with this one, is you find a bunch of different books that are, like, level-specific that, like, uh, you can, like, uh, oh, hey, look, we found a book that sends us off on an adventure and everything. So in each one, you can run independently. So, like, uh, you could, if you're running the campaign, you could use one to like as like an introductory or like as kind of like a, a side quest and everything. So, to uh, they actually have like um, uh, a list in the, the book and everything of all the like the the seventeen different books and everything. So like uh, the first like uh, section is uh, actually about like uh, can uh, actual candle keep. So like they do like uh, give like NPCs for like uh, sage and arch sage and everything. So basically, what gives you a template for like a bunch of the, the NPCs that you can uh, can use for the uh, the actual campaign or or adventure. So they do give like a, a, a kind of like a down like a, uh, just half of like the outer court and everything up candle keep and everything. So in this like uh, beginning part, so like um, w with the adventures and everything. So like uh, in a sense like. Uh, like I said, they can either be one shots or you can like uh, run them from one back to back to back to all the way from like level like well level one up to like level sixteen or anything. So like, uh, yeah, what I'll do is I'll talk about like the different books and stuff and everything, or adventures and like descriptions. So like, it starts off with the the joy of extra dimensional space, and that's for level one, and then like you got uh, Maz Frost Mighty Dimension, which is level two, and then you got the Book of the Raven uh, for level three. So like a uh, I'll actually uh, talk about the descriptions as well. So, like, the, the first one, The Joy of extra Space, a book leads characters on a quest to find a Nessus Sage, a Mazdrow's Mighty Dimension, Monstrous Revelations Sheds Light on a book, book Merchant Scam, and The Book of Ravens, a treasure map tucked inside a book beckons adventurers to a remote hill, hilltop chalet occupied by a secret society that shuns visitors. And then, like, you got two level four uh, in a sense, books like the first one is a deep and creeping darkness. Uh, this one's a book describing a mining disaster prompts an adventurers to search for a missing town. The second level four is Shemshime's bedtime rhyme, and of course, this one is a catchy and contagious rhyme takes back uh, traces back to a sinister clockwork book. And then your level five uh, book or adventure is the the price of beauty. A book about beauty shows the way to a secluded temple where beauty is only skin deep. And then level six, a book of cylinders. Engraved cylinders contained within a book tell a gripping and portentous tale when rolled across wet clay. Level seven is Sarah of Yellowcrest Manor. A haunted book points a ghostly fing finger at, a per uh, at perpetrators of an unsolved mass killing in Waterdeep. Level 8 is Lure of a uh, Lure, Lurie, uh, L U R U E. I'm probably mis mispronouncing that, and of course, my pronunciations usually uh, suck. But anyway, that's level 8, and this one, adventures become immersed in a storybook conflict involving Lurie, the Unicorn Queen, and Mallard, uh, the Beast Lord. 
And then like uh, level nine is candle keep deconstruction. So candle keep is actually spelled with a K and deconstruction is uh, uh, has a funky spelling to it as well. So that's level nine. And this one is a stolen book leads adventurers to a tower in candle keep that is more than what it seems. Level 10 is uh, Zikran's Zephyrim Tome. Uh, uh, the Jinn trapped in a book offers a wish spell to adventurers who find a way to release him. Level 11 is The Curious Tale of Wister uh, Wisteria Vale. And this one, a book holds the key to unlocking a bard's prison. Level 12 is The Book of Inner Alchemy. A search for, a, for the missing pages of a book puts adventurers in conflict with the monks of the Immortal Lotus. Level 13 is the Canopic Bean. A book brings several puzzled organ transplants to light. Level, uh, that's level 13. Level 14 is the Scrivener's Tale. A tome leaves its magical mark on the adventurers, doing them unless they can find a way to remove it. Level 15 is Alca Alcazar's Appendix. A book chronicles an unsolved mystery about a wandering stone golem in the desert. And to end this all off is like a... Uh, Level 16 is Xanthoria. A uh, fell grimoire helps adventures and end the fungal plague. So those are like the si uh, 17 different ones, and it takes you all the way from levels 1 to 16. So like I said, you can run one, any one of them, or like uh, plug them into a campaign that you have, or run basically all these right back to back to back and everything. So like... Uh, yeah, and of course you do get into like a underneath candle keep so like there's actually like a dead dragon that you find in Miriam that uh, was uh, pretty much haunts the lower realms of it and so like uh, they also uh, talk about like uh, Alondo the, the sage who made a bunch of prophecies so like anyone familiar with the forgotten realms will probably like get uh, remember him and everything so like um, and of course like uh, you can reference it I'm sure that there are other videos that are out there so like uh this isn't necessarily like a, the slate of this video. This is just to give you background information for this adventure and everything. So they do give like a, the stats for like a Miriam, the, the dragon there. So then it actually gets like the, you can see like a, most of the book itself is the, devoted to all, all those adventures and everything. So like, um, I mean, this one is going to be a shorter one. So, cause I'll just qu quickly go over this. And so, like I said, th this one, is with the, the 16, uh, 17 different books and everything that are in here are great for one shots or like, a, or what you can do is just like, a, if you don't want to do any like a leg work as a DM and everything, use this as like a, a way to run a, pretty much a whole campaign in unto itself because like, um, this one takes you from levels one to 16. So like, uh, uh, you can uh, run all of them together and just keep it, uh, it based right in candle keep and everything and you wouldn't necessarily have like a, any like a, like I said legwork to do with the world building or like a, you necessarily like, of course NPCs are uh, are a lot easier so you don't have to necessarily do legwork for NPCs because you got everything right in here as well so th this one would be like a, perfect for one shots like a, in the sense like a, I said you can take one and just kind of plug it in. Like, uh, say you have like a, a level like a, a ten care, uh, level ten characters. What you can do in the sense is uh, run like the level ten uh, book adventure or whatever, like the the Sikram Zephram tome, or like you could uh, start off with like the the joy of extra dimensional spaces to kind of segue into maybe like uh, you want them to go into like uh, Baldur's Gate itself so you can use this uh, the uh, this as a backdrop to stop, uh, start off in Candle Keep and then like uh, segue into Baldur's Gate or like, go south to Am or whatever or like uh, even uh, go campaign for a while and like your characters are already up to like level 16 and you could do uh, Xanthoria as a kind of like an end note to kind of or like a springboard to like uh, you end the one campaign at, their, uh, at 16 use this as a springboard to get them from level 16 to le level 20 or something so the options are kind of like uh, limitless in how you use this book because uh, in a sense all these like uh, books that you find in candle keep can be used as one shots or as like uh, laid out like what you can do is use every single book that you find as a way to level characters up from like a level one to 16 and you never have to leave the com the comfort of candle keep and everything. And so like, uh, 
you use this like a small little locale uh, of candle keep to run like a whole campaign in it in, in on itself and so like i said in the uh, beginning of this video this is like the one like um the second to longest campaign adventure or adventure book that i have in that it takes you from one to six now like uh the future ones i will be getting into there's one that like uh, takes you like uh from levels five to twenty and it's kind of like an into like a it's uh it, it takes place right after like the uh, another adventure so like you got uh, and these ones are like the the dragon heist uh, and this and then like the uh, the dungeon of the mad mad mage so like that that one's based in water deep so those two in a sense are connected but they can run, be run separate and those ones take you all the way to level 20 so unlike most adventures most adventure books only take you to like a level like a 10 11 maybe 12 like the curse of stride takes you to like level 10 for instance this one actually takes you up, up much further to level 16 so this is like the in a sense like a takes you the second highest level uh, uh for like levels of, of characters and everything so like if you're looking for something that like uh want you know, that you want to you know, run like uh characters from like uh, all the way from like levels one to twenty this one would definitely be good in the sense that like uh, it would uh, get you to up to 16 level 16 using like each one of the books and everything or like i said you can use each book as a one shot to kind of bridge the gap in between adventures or start you off finish it off campaign or whatever so the that's what this is where this one shines is that like uh it takes you from levels one to 16 and and or be able to be used as a one shot 